Hello everyone. Uh, it's been forever since I've done a tutorial, but I'm getting back into the swing of things and I am as happy as a dancing stormtrooper about it. So in the past, uh, I've done all of my animation by hand. I've done keyframe animation for everything. Uh, I wanted to learn the principles of animation and uh, the fun of it. And also I did a lot of non-human characters, but now I'm doing a lot of projects that really have to be done via uh, motion capture. They just can't be done any other way. There's no time. So uh, I've been getting into motion capture and I found out that it's not as straightforward as some of the other tutorials once you start really getting into things. So I'm going to show you what I've found out so far and hopefully this will help you in your um, uh, dealing with motion capture data. So uh, in this first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prepare your character for motion capture and then um, apply some motion capture to him. And then we'll get into progressively more um, uh, elaborate things as we go on. So we have a, a character. This uh, Stormtrooper uh, was imported in Mixamo. Uh, I got this off Sketchfab, actually. And uh, it was applied uh, this dance uh, animation to it. Uh, we don't need this dance animation, so I'm just going to click. I'm in the Action Editor, uh, under Dope Sheet Action Editor. And I'm going to click on Stash, so that that way I have the animation later if I need it. But I don't need it now. Uh, I need to create a new action. I'm just going to create an action. I'll call it rest. And uh, I'm going to hit Alt R, Alt G to zero out everything. You can see that the rest position and pose position are the same. Oh, let's go to frame zero here. So we're getting a fresh start. Uh, so we just need something to have a fresh start so that we can apply some motion capture data to it. Uh, so I'm going to hit I on the keyboard uh, to create a keyframe for all the selected uh, bones in the armature. I'm going to select location and rotation. Uh, now, if I open up one of these channels, you'll see that we have X, Y, and Z for the location. We have W, X, Y, and Z for the rotation. All right, so that's quaternions. Quaternions has four channels, and uh, this is really great if you're animating the quaternions don't flip out and do weird things like the uh, normal X, Y, and Z coordinates do. But um, uh, for our purposes, later on we're going to need to edit things in the graph editor, so I'm going to go ahead and convert the quaternions to X, Y, and Z. Uh, so if you go to, uh, you should have the Rigify um, Quat to, I know it's called Euler, uh, I call it Euler, uh, Rigify Quat to Euler Converter. Uh, so open that tab up, if not you can just uh, enable the add-on, and uh, then go ahead and select under Convert to, we're going to hit X, Y, and Z and convert only selected. We have all the bones that we want uh, selected. So uh, all I gotta do is hit convert current action. And nothing seems to happen, but if we open up those hips again, you'll see that now instead of those four channels, we have the standard uh, Euler X, Y, and Z on there. So if I were to go um, here, uh, that means that these, these color channels, the blue, the green, and the red are gonna you know, correspond to these channels here. So it's going to be much easier to work with later. All right, so I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to hit a tab out of that into object mode, and then I'm going to go into, uh, let's import our motion capture data now that we have the character set up correctly. Import, I'm going to import an FBX. I got a bunch. Of, now I got these off of Mixamo. This is a simple walking animation. And I'm going to, uh, uh, everything should be, uh, applied as standard, except the only thing I check mark is automatic bone orientation. If you don't do that, the bones are all going to be pointing in the same direction. It's going to be hard to tell what's going on. You don't need to do that to get the animation data, but you do need to do that if you want it to look correct in the viewport. And I'm going to select that, go to the uh, armature tab and hit in front so that we can see that armature at all times. And I'm going to scale it up so that it matches our stormtrooper as much as possible. So as you can see here, we have some simple walk animation uh, 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 brought in. So now I'm going to take the animation data from this guy and put it on to the Stormtrooper. Now you could, if you wanted to go into pose mode, you could select all these keyframes, copy the keyframes, go to your Stormtrooper, select everything, is if all the bones are named exactly the same, you could paste the keyframes, but that usually doesn't work. If you see here, as you can see here, it's a mess. So don't 
do that for this uh, this tutorial. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to retarget the animation from one thing to another. And I found that uh, something that works good is this um, plugin add-on, really, from Rococo. And they make uh, motion capture suits, but you don't need the motion capture suit to use the plugin. The plugin is perfectly free and available. I'll put it in the show notes, the link to it. And uh, just install the plugin like any other, uh, I'm sorry, add-on like any other add-on. Uh, then you go to the retargeting tab and click on the source, which is our motion capture data that we imported. And the target is, of course, our character's armature. And then build the bone list. So that will take the bones from the motion capture and match it up to its corresponding bone on your rig. And of course, these came both from Mixamo, so they all have the exact same names. So everything matches perfectly. If your names are different, if, for example, your hips are actually called pelvis, you may have to find that, uh, type that in there yourself. But uh, for the most part, it'll do a good job of matching those. So now, when we hit retarget animation, you would think that everything would work perfectly. Uh, they all came from the same place, you know, same company, uh, haven't really messed with the rig or anything like that. Uh, and I've done this with and without converting to, you know, uh, X, Y, and Z. So let's see what happens when we retarget the animation. Okay. It kind of, part of it looks good and part of it looks really bad. So if we see here that the animation has retargeted, but uh, some things don't look right. The arms specifically are messed up. And I've just found that, especially if you do any editing at all of the character, which you're probably going to end up doing, um, if it's not something that's imported into Mixamo directly, you're probably going to have issues like this. So I'm going to show you how to easily edit this kind of stuff. And this is where converting from Quaternion to the, uh, the uh, Euler or Euler is really helpful. So let's go to the graph editor and change these. So you see here, if we look at these channels, I can see two channels, but one of them oh, is way over here. So something got messed up. I don't know where. But um, anyway, one of these channels is kind of off in space. In order to work with this easily and not accidentally select the wrong keyframes, I'm going to go to View. I'm going to say Only uh, Selected Curve Keyframes. So that way when I select a curve, uh, I'm not going to accidentally select the uh, keyframes of a different curve. Uh, so all I'm going to do is, is just hit G on the keyboard and Y to constrain it. Oops. Let's hit A first to select all those if they're not already selected. And I'm going to hit G for grab and Y to constrain it to the Y axis because we just want to move this up and down. And as you can see, as I do that, as I move it over here, it, it well, as I move it into place with the other curves, it is looking more like the original uh, um, animation. So you just move it until it looks good. And you can kind of scrub through. Uh, the animation to make sure that everything matches up. Uh, you might have to do this for multiple bones, like for example this hand. As you see here, the hand is not oriented in their correct uh, position. So I'm going to hit uh, and just mess with these curves until you get uh, the proper thing. Here we go. This, uh, this will uh, spin the uh, hand around a little bit. And again, just do this until things match up correctly. You might also have to do this because your character's dimensions, you know, might not match up. You might have a character with very broad shoulders, and they, you know, you want the the hands to go clipping through the uh, the you know thigh of your character or something like that. So that's one arm. We'll just go ahead and do the same process for the other arm. We'll just grab one of these, uh, make sure all those keyframes are are grabbed. Uh, G Y to constrain it because you don't want to move the keyframes back and forth on the timeline because that'll change their actual timing and just move it in place until things look right and things are pretty much matched up on that one let's hit G yeah all right so now when we scrub through things it's pretty much matching all right you might have to go in and tweak things. You can uh, tweak until your heart's content, until everything looks uh, correct to you and stuff. So that's another thing. Uh, I leave the original uh, armature uh, that I brought in for the um, the motion capture data. I usually leave it in place until I'm done editing, 
and then I'll move it off to the side or hide it or something like that. You could just go ahead and hide it from there if you wanted to, from the outliner. So uh, that is how to um, set up your character and how to, uh, how, how to set up your character for motion capture, uh, how to import the motion capture data, and how to uh, target it to the character, and then how to edit that. Now in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you uh, how to mix these things together uh, in more complex ways, how to make them take several steps instead of just one step, and how to mix together uh, varying clips. Okay, so I hope this helps out.